Hello everyone, Mr. Light Visual with another video. This video was a suggestion from one of our followers in the previous video where I gave a tutorial on how to model Burj Al Arab Hotel Tower in Dubai. Check the video in the top right corner and I'll also link it in the description. He suggested I make a video modeling Lisa Soho building in China with Akiket. I hope I said it right. Let's not waste time and jump straight on to it. Before we jump, make sure you like and share this video and if you are new to this channel, we upload videos on presenting and communicating architecture weekly, sometimes twice in a week, using Archicad, Lumion and Adobe Photoshop softwares. Let's get started. For this exercise, I will use MS Beam template. I will leave the link of the project file in the description for you to download. This is the drawing I will use to manipulate the model. Start by tracing significant lines that define this architecture using polyline and spline tools. Make sure they are clear and visible so you can appreciate your progress. The building is approximately 200 meters high so I scaled this drawing to that reference and the rest of the dimension will be natural. After I'm done tracing, I will take contour line that defines the geometry and the height of the building and copy paste it in the elevation view. Then use Morph tool to revolve this line with radius of half the width of the building to compute the form we are going to work with. This is the starting point of our grid gene. Now I have the geometry form that I will drive our modeling to pull out data and add details of this architecture. Let's carve the atrium in the center by having another morph that defines this atrium. From there, make sure you make a copy of this, a good practice when dealing with massing. Let's intersect the two morphs using solid element operation tools that I love. I love this tool for various reasons, more especially dealing with massing to generate complex geometries. So in this operation, the target is the morph, the morph for the atra, and the operator is the main morph. Then intersect the two. Boom. This is what you get. Then let's subtract the atra morph from the main morph. So the operator is the atra morph and the main morph as the target. From here, I will go ahead and change materials of this to glass. Hide the atrium and inside the atrium, pick the surface of the wall and select bulge tool from the pet palette to pull out the surfaces of the two walls to have this projected floors to the atrium, which is a cool feature for the atrium, right? Now subtract these additions from the atrium morph and convert it to morph to store the solid element operation permanently. We are now ready to place our floors in, the, in this form. Draw a slab that encloses the form and multiply it by 45 floors. Then perform intersection to the floors and the main morph. Use floor as target and the main morph as the operator. I'm happy with the results. Good, right? So the last thing is to increase the three slabs height to achieve this effect. Next, I'm going to add more details to the atrium view using slab to stick it in both sides of the atrium walls. Then subtract from the main morph and convert it to morph. Then union the two the additions and the main move. So we will lose the live intersection operation for the flows to the main move by joining these atrium additions. So yeah, let's do it again. Guess what happened? The flows are updated to the additions we just made on the atrium. Let's add trusses that support the atrium glazing. 
situations like this, you need lines that define the path and the span of the trusses. And we are going to use morph line to sketch in 3D because morph allows you to sketch in 3D. Then make it an arc. Good. We can now go ahead and put the truss system of that path. Then I'll choose the eye steel beam that is available in this template to assemble the, the truss and edit the size in the profile manage. So this will represent the cords of the truss. Then duplicate this to add the bottom cord. For the struts or webs or whatever naming you can, you can call it, I'm going to use the column tool and change it to the slant with 60 degrees. Go to the plane view and mirror copy and then duplicate the two along the span of the truss. Make sure after each duplicate, you align it manually with the path. I will go ahead and fast check the two remaining trusses at the top. Next is the steel grill for the atrium glazing. This feature, I produced a profile for that, then intersected with the glass and converted to morph to kill the line, to kill the life operation, sorry. This helps to permanently store the intersection operation. If you want an in-depth step-by-step, -step, we have Archicad Simplified course that is running. I will leave the link in the description for all our digital products for you to download. Just a few of commercials now, let's get back to our video. On elevation, I sketched the 2D profile that I'm going to add a detail around the edge of the roof. Use Morph to fill in this profile and extrude. I'm going to multiply a rotation along the edge of the roof using a circle as part of the rotation. Then the skylight at the rooftop. I guess this is to bring more natural lighting down to the atrium. This is a pretty straightforward exercise using slab and beam tools for the steel members of the skylight. Then next at the rooftop is the helipad. I did cover how to make a helipad in the previous Bejal Arab video that I'll leave in the description. This rooftop has a couple of pretty simple details to make that I quickly produced in the side. Final stage of finalizing and knitting together all components to produce harmonious and elegant style of this architecture. The last detail that I'll complete this video is adding steel mullions and mountains to the facade glazing. This operation I'm going to use the copy of the main morph that we made in the beginning stages of this process. Duplicate the morph with the same point from the center and scale it down from the center point. Then subtract the inner morph from outer morph. This will produce the thickness of mullions we want to make. It might not make sense, but just wait and see. Draw a wall with this width of this member and the height of this giant glazing. Then multiply the wall to enclose the morph and perform solid element operation to intersect the two. Making sure that target is the walls. From here, draw a slab and also multiply it to cover the height of the facade glazing. Then do the same solid element operation. Good, right? We are not finished yet. Select all the objects and convert to morph to make steel framing that will support layers of Soho facade glazing. Thank you for watching. Hope this gave you a light on how to approach massing of concepts in Archicad. I will leave the link for the file in the description. Make sure to like and share the video. And for new guys, hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell for future videos. If you want to contribute to our channel, 
go to comment section and suggest which topics we should make videos next time. If you have anything to say about this video, give us a comment. I will join you there. Thank you.